Welcome everybody. Have you ever been in a situation, a tactical position that is so wild, so dangerous, so frightening that you just wanna, you just wanna run away, you just wanna avoid the problem, run, protect yourself. What is he doing? He's beginning to believe. But then you turn around and you face the problem head on instead. You delve into the complexities of the tactical puzzle while knowing fully well that one false move and you could be done. Have you ever been in such a position? Well, we all have. And in today's video, we're going to discuss the bravery to confront tactics head on and the signal that that is a sign that the player is beginning to believe so with without further ado we're going to get into a game of one of our students on this program Kumar and uh, we're going to look at three of his games and it's just run of the mill rubbish as you can see it's 1100 level play Nothing phenomenal, it's just easy attacks, easy defense. But then you get a slightly spicy move here with the bishop out giving up the poisoned b pawn, and then uh, having a slightly awkward little dance over here. And it looks like it's starting to slip away, maybe. But then you have this remarkable bishop c1 actually kind of trapping the queen. Phenomenal move! But oh no. Black has a spoiler. Black has a spoiler. And now, now surely you're just going to, you know, you'll take the queen. He'll take the queen and, and you'll win a knight at the end, right? But no. Umar spotted another tactic, an intermezzo check, which allowed him to win the queen and then finish off the game in style. Now, when I first saw this, I thought... I was surprised. I was surprised by by this move in particular, the screen check. I thought that was a really good find and not the sign of a player of an 1100 caliber, to be perfectly honest. Uh, there were signs here that something has maybe changed in Kumar's game because normally he has been very, very defensive. But as you can see, even in this next game, he's taken the gambit pawn. He's playing a wild line. This is not a line that someone of a 1100 caliber can even dream of playing. You have to have very high caliber to be willing to play so fast and loose with the rules of proper chess. And look at this. Another. Giving up another pawn. There is... It's not perfect. It's not a perfect game. By no means. But you can see there is a, a bit of method to the madness. The player has begun to learn the art of attacking in chess and is willing to flirt with the danger of potentially losing as a result of bad play in the pursuit of a hostile attack. And that's what it takes to get to the next level in your chess. The courage to go through with these ideas and uh, the the ability, the self-belief to know that you can handle a complex position and not be afraid of it. So with that being said, here we had actually a good opportunity. Knight d4, this is a common motif. You want to attack two pieces at the same time. Knight d5, uh, it, it's still pretty good, but it, it's not as good. All right. So the game is, is pretty even here. But I, I like Black's attacking prospects. There's a lot, of, a lot going on over here. And now White makes a, a mistake. Okay, White should have managed this situation better, but he allowed the doubling of the pawns. And Black swoops in with an effective knight h4, clamping down on the structure, getting ready for a mating attack. It's all looking really promising. White trying to hide away. And Black following up with yet another precise attacking move, really putting the choke on on the, on the king here. Tremendous play. But now comes the double-edged attack. This is what a player will often do to, when they're in a tough spot, they will try to make it double-edged. And, and it's so easy here to think of playing 
right here and mate, right? Wrong. There's a night fork you have to watch out for. A night fork and he spots it. He plays the precise move. The one and only move to, to actually hold the advantage here. Uh, the obvious idea being knight up, uh, queen up and mate here. But now with the queen up, the wrong move was played next. You had a move like this, and this flitted away the advantage a little bit. The more accurate reply would be queen up and mate. The king is still trapped in here, even though the queen has moved away, the king is still trapped. So <coughs> it's much better to go for the mate. Um, that being said, now we have a new kind of scenario. and. A very, very hostile attack. I'd say this is a bit wishy-washy, however. It's a bit too loose and out there. However, it, the attitude, the mental attitude is what I want to point out as the positive factor. And look at this stunning way to defend the knight. It's stunning, actually, because he knows the knight can't capture since the queen is on prey. So it's a stunning way to defend. It's not accurate by any means, but it is a, a stunning way. More accurate would have been knight back here, actually. Or oh, I think, I think, or oh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, there must be something. Maybe, maybe queen takes here. Queen takes here is pretty good because the rook can't take since it'll be rook check, queen check here. Or even a mating attack potentially right down here. So anyway, let's not get bogged down with the analysis. Black's under fire, but he's fighting hard, playing with these tricky, tricky checks. But he misses his chance here. You should never go for a pawn. When you're in the blazing realm of a tactical firestorm, a warning sign is if you find yourself winning a pawn. Winning a pawn is, is nothing in a tactical firestorm. You've got to go for the jugular. Follow through on the same spirit. Queen check. Queen check. Queen check is devastating. It just it, it destroys the position for white. It, it simply annihilates them. Queens are often very good if you look at them from long diagonal perspectives. Oftentimes, the mind is constrained towards thinking uh, sort of more closer, in closer directions. But what you'll often find is a far outreach with the queen tends to yield immense tactical possibilities. So keep that in mind next time. But here we have a simple finish, checkmate. and uh, But however, still a very good tactical game. And now, as we head into the third and final game of the analysis, Kumar here is white, and we see what I would say is one of the the most incredible games to watch from a precision perspective. Okay, now here we have a little dance and a little back and forth movement, uh, but it is still fine. For white, it's nothing. It's not a great play, obviously, in the opening, but it's uh, it's solid. And now black is getting a little bit hyper tactical, hyper tactical, and uh, really going for a bit more than they can chew, really here. But white's response is fundamental, crucial. Like if you capture with the queen, bishop takes, and your and your your queen is done for. Even if you take with the rook, the same principle applies. So how do you respond here? Black, white finds the incredible knight b3. I don't know if it's the best move or not, but it is certainly a, one of the better moves out there. You enable your bishop to potentially come in the way. You take care of the main menace in the position. So it's good. And now you get rid of the main threatening piece, which was that bishop and this whole thing. But Black is after him. Black is not letting go. Black wants to keep it tactical. He wants to open this diagonal. He knows there's a mating attack in there, even though there isn't. <laughs> there isn't, because uh, even if you were to take it with a knight, for example, knight check here, you would think, whoa, my God, the Arabian mate. And your king goes all the way in. But then what? Queen comes in here, check. Smothered mate, no. Rook takes. 
and then knight cannot come here and checkmate to the king because the queen's there. So, yeah. So white accurately captures the uh, knight while defending his own piece. Great tactical play. Terrific tactical play. And now giving up a pawn in favor of excellent, awesome positional power. Kumar has very well and truly begun to believe and has understood chess. He understands the game better, way better now. This is a chess player, ladies and gentlemen. See you.